Okay, so I'm an Amazon influencer. And while that doesn't mean a whole lot in my daily life, what it means is I'm able to shoot these videos that you see on my YouTube channel and make a little money if someone watches the video and then buys it. So that's what the Amazon influencer program is. It's different than say an Amazon uh, affiliate program where if you have like a blog and someone clicks on that link, then they you could earn commission dollars from that. So the influencer program is really specific to shoppable videos. So that's really the first thing when you're thinking about trying to get into this program, that's the thing that you need to understand is that these are shoppable videos. These are not reviews. So while you may see a lot of the stuff that I post on Amazon, on my YouTube channel, I'm adding in additional content to YouTube that I would never add to Amazon because they'll deny it. If I say this product sucks or this product isn't that good or I said this product helped my uh, condition with my gut or my health or anything, then they're going to deny that because it's becoming a review. I'm like, oh, I really liked it or I didn't like it. However, if I'm very positive about the product, then that's when they will accept it. So how do you get in to Amazon? It's actually uh, really three main categories, right? First of all, you do have to have a sort of a following. Now, the following should don't scare you. Um, I am not, you can look at this channel. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot going on. I used to be a real estate agent. So I have an account that has a few hundred people on my Facebook page. I have a few hundred people on Twitter and a few hundred, I have a few thousand people on LinkedIn. And with all these different accounts and being active over the last you know, few decades, I have a history. So I got in, but there are people who are getting in where they have, you know, they're like, oh, you have to have 10,000 followers or whatever. You do not have to have 10,000 followers. You only need to show that you're sort of active on social media and you have some of a following. It doesn't need a big following. And all you need to do is get past that fast hurdle, that first hurdle, so you can record your three videos. Now, what are they looking for in those three videos? They're looking for very, very specific things, okay? So do not try, you don't need to do like become the next, you know, whatever person on, on this is not your opportunity to show off that you're going to be the next best thing on TikTok or that you produce the highest quality videos. That's not it. Or that you are so articulate or that you're able to read the description so well. It doesn't want any of that. There's just three simple things that they're looking for in these videos and it's pretty basic. So first they want a horizontal video. I know, I know, everyone's going vertical, but they want a horizontal video. Next, that's, that's just that's step one. So you can just check that off. You can do what I'm doing. I'm using a laptop to shoot the videos. I'm not doing anything special. I figured, you know what, I'll up the production value when I make enough money to do it. So, so go horizontal. The next thing is you gotta show the product in use. So you need to be positive about the product. It needs to be shown in use. You need to be able to show that you are touching it, you're playing with it, you're saying, hey, man, this feels smooth, this feels, this feels glossy, this uh, feels well-made. Whatever positive things you can say about this product or whatever product you're reviewing is what you want to do, all right? So you wanna be positive. You want your video to be about a minute long, a minute to two minutes, and you wanna be positive. And that's pretty much it. If you can show that you are creating a positive video that you're touching and using the product and that you and it's horizontal you're gonna get in it's not that hard but a lot of people what they do is they make these long videos where they talk in depth about the product or they don't actually touch the product or they only read the description of the product so they're not actually giving a positive review they're saying this is made of plastic and it snaps together. Like they're not saying anything else. And so a human watches these videos and they're really just trying to check the box. Is this good enough? Is it not good enough? So one of my first videos was uh, headphones. And what I had to do is I had to show the headphones on my head. I had to talk about how great they were. And I had to make sure I did not mention any other products. You never, ever, ever want to mention a competitor product on a video. Otherwise, just shut it down. You never want to mention your health conditions or how it cured cancer or whatever. You don't want to mention any of that. You don't want to mention anything about your family. You can't talk about your, your daughters, your sons, your sisters, your brothers, your husbands, your wives, your girlfriends, whatever. It's not about that. You're a talking head. It's like, it's like uh, old school 
shopping network. And that's what this is about. If you want to be an Amazon influencer, you're making shoppable videos. Now, once they approve you, got your three videos in, you're good to go. You can make whatever videos you want to make. But just know they'll probably decline if you go if you go way of outside the boundaries. So I've had several of my videos decline because I mentioned gut health and things like that, and they don't want any of that. So anyway, if you want to get in, you got to have a little bit of a following, not much. If your friends and family are, visit, are, are, are following you on social media, and you should be good to go. And then you got to make three videos. Horizontal videos showing you use the product and, being in a pos- and talking about the product in a positive light. And do it for a minute, and then call it a day. And you should get in. Now, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I'm happy to make more videos about this, but that's been my success, getting in and success. I'll record another video about how much money I've made. It's not a lot. This is not something you're going to retire with. This is something that can give you some extra cash if you enjoy reviewing products.